Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Alan. Getting some smokers done. I got one out here I'm getting paint on. And this is a 40 by 20 reverse flow. I got another one to paint whenever I get this one done. All right, it's done, it's dried up now. I usually paint it that first time, let it dry up for a day, paint it again, let that dry. Now I'm rolling that uh, 24 by 24 vertical. I started to pull them out at the same time, but it just, I only have so much plywood laying there on that dirt and I hate to get on that dirt. It's just that extra work that I have to get all that stuff off the uh, wheels and everything. This is a cutout that goes on that 24 by 24 vertical. Trying to get most of it done. Something's going on with the plasma. Something's in the lead and the lead isn't making good connection. And it started a while back, but then it, it only did it a couple times. And that just is starting to get worse. Here it is now, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> Keep trying to get it to arc up, but it's just not doing it. All right, so I was trying to get that cutout done and something's wrong with this plasma. Something in the lead has been going bad. It's gotta be a short end somewhere. And it's done got to the point you used to, for a while you would be able to hold it you know, in a funny angle or something and make it kick in. But now it's not, it's not wanting to do nothing. It's taking more time to try to get it to do anything than it is to do what I need to do. So anyway, I gotta send that lead. I don't know if they can repair it or I'm gonna have to buy another one or what. When I'm over here, I'm gonna try to get the rest of it done with uh, the grinder and files and stuff. And it's coming along. I just gotta finish getting this cut out. I got most of the hard stuff already, the insides. We'll go ahead and finish this up. Still gotta do a lot of cleaning on this. We'll get them all done up with the grinder and I got all the files and stuff out, so we'll get it done that way. Go ahead and get it with the grinder. Most of this can be got with that grinder pretty easy. You have to kind of move around with it some. In those tight spots, I drilled holes like inside the B, inside the Q, in the little middle point of the bees and then use the file and a dremel tool to kind of clean those out i've got to get some new small files soon they're getting dull You have to be careful doing that with that cutting blade because you're getting some awkward positions. And you gotta make sure that blade don't get where it might wanna jump out at your hand or something like that. This is that little Dremel. This one little bit has been stuck in here for like four years. I can't get it out. And so that's all it's used for, but it's getting dull. It takes a while for it to do anything. But it still comes in handy. I have some burr bits that would clean it out faster, but 
it's too they're too big to get into these little bitty spots. Getting them all buffed out with these black hawk, black hawk uh, flap disc. I just got another shipment of those in. They come in real handy. Just spray painting it red. I'm gonna give it a real light coat. I just give it real light coats, about five of them. Cause if you try to get it all solid color on the first spray, it's gonna run all over the place. While paint's drying on that, I'll go ahead and start getting these racks done for the vertical. This is the Evolution Chop Saw. I said something about that blade. I think it was about three months ago about it going dull. That sucker is still cutting. I've had a new blade just on standby. It won't cut bigger stuff, but all this uh, half inch tubing and one inch angle and stuff like that, it's still slicing right on through it. This is just a frame for the racks. These racks are about the last thing for that, except for the diverter plate. I still got to cut it out. All right, y'all, we got them knocked out. This is the one with the cutout I was doing. This is 24 by 24 vertical. This one has a lot of stuff added to it. It doesn't normally come with it. One of the tables fold, one of the tables are solid. I still gotta cut the diverter plate for this this morning. I hadn't put it in yet. And of course the diverter plate goes right there and the drip pan. This is the other one that I was painting at first. I still gotta get the wheels for it. I don't have the other two front wheels. They've been delayed coming in, so. This is the 40 by 20 reverse flow. This has the side door on it. Really, if you intend to do a lot of grilling that side door, I mean, it's it's a lot better than that burner. <laughs> Normally it comes with the burner on the side. <clears throat> but if you intend to do a lot of grilling, I would go with that side door instead of that burner. You'll get a lot more use out of that door. Much easier access to your coals and stuff.
But anyway, that'll do it on these two. I just need to cut that diverter plate out. I'm fixing to do it now. This one's set up with the uh, inside vent too. That way you can use the chamber separately. You could be smoking in the vertical and grilling over there in the horizontal chamber at the same time. So anyway, that'll do it on those. Uh, I got some more coming up. I'm starting another 40 by 20. I've got a, I've got like three going, four going right now. And starting some more. So I've got several videos coming up. I also got a video coming up on this little plasma. Mine's still down, but I have a lead on coming. I should have the new lead next week. And I've had this welder, I mean this little plasma cutter for months. I forgot all about even having that thing. I was cleaning out <clears throat> a corner trying to make room for something else. And I seen the box, I was like, man, crap. I could have used that on the cutout. I forgot all about it. I've never even opened it. It's just been sitting there. So anyway, I got to do a video on it here soon. I may open that thing today. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all in the next one.